I've never got the flu. I haven't had the flu in, I would say, seven, eight years, and I've been successful so far. So I just, I guess I fear the unknown. I, I took it once and I got sick just later, you know? So you're scared the flu shot makes right. you sick? Yeah. But I've heard it's only certain like strands it covers, so I just don't see the point for myself. So you, you part of it, you, you, you hear probably in the media year and year again, it's a bad match, so you're, you just think it's not worth it? Yeah, basically. So what's the concern at seeing current inoculation rates only at 30%? You know, I think, I think the main thing is to people to know, um, we, we would like to see everybody get um, a flu shot, that everybody who's six months and older is, you know, and if you don't have a specific anaphylactic allergy to flu shot, that there's, you know, pretty much uh, the majority of the population who should be getting it. Because influenza spreads from person to person, particularly where there's close contact, if you have herd immunity, if you've got a large proportion of the population that are immunized and protected, that interrupts the ability of the virus to spread easily within a community, within schools, within other places where people come together, like at work. What that level of general immunization of the population needs to be is not entirely clear, but it's certainly greater than 70%. And in particular, what's been well studied in many countries in the world is that if you immunize children, it protects the susceptible elderly population as well. That, you know, anybody who is in contact with somebody who's at high risk for complications is also highly recommended to get that flu shot. So if you're living in a household with somebody, if you're a healthcare provider working with those vulnerable individuals, um, absolutely, those are people who should be getting it as well.